Good God Almighty, it's your mini for Friday. Mini is the mortal size version of the colossal god size version of I Fanboys Video Comic Book Show. Uh, Friday, you normally get a pick of the week. Um, it's not going to happen. So you're going to have to suck it up and deal with it. The reason it's not going to happen is because comic books came out on Thursday and there's just, there's not enough time. So look for the pick of the week review, my pick of the week review, on Monday. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, you will be able to enjoy the video, the audio podcast of it and the written review. So it's not like you don't have something. So stop whining, okay? First of all, I'm, I'm getting sick of it, the whining. I shouldn't do that. So in the meantime, I have to come up with something. I have to do something. You have to do one of these shoes all the time. So I'm cheating. That's exactly what I'm doing. Um, you may remember my first book of the month way back in February was Godland Celestial Edition Volume 1 by Joe Casey and Tom Scioli. Scioli? I never know. I could check, but that would be, that would be, that would be responsible. You know, this, this never got the proper video mini because we weren't doing the minis back then. And I thought it's such a good book. And if this uh, gets people to take a look at it, then that would help other than so you can go read the written review from February. That's back on there. Um, but, but for now, let's, let's talk about Godland. Godland is a story about a superhero. It's done in a Jack Kirby style. Um, that's basically it. Uh, Adam Archer goes to Mars, uh, the Cosmic Fetus Collective. Yeah, that's what they're called. They imbue him with uh, strange cosmic powers. There's, there's uh, the, the whole thing is done like, like old Jack Kirby comics. It's cosmic, it's big, it's just big. Everything about it's big. That's really like one of the really important things about it. They have just exceptional character designs in this book. Um, one of the villains is Basil Cronus. And Basil Cronus, literally one of my favorite villains uh, that I've seen, uh, new villains I've seen in a really long time. He's a floating head, uh, in a sort of disembodied head in a tank and there's a space suit and, and basically he's like a drug addict evil person he's he's uh he's very strange maxim is a giant alien dog uh thing and he comes to help adam archer because obviously the reason that he got the powers is because of something larger that he doesn't understand something bigger something godlike something huge and then adam archer's got family problems and the public doesn't really like him that much because he was a famous astronaut and, and they, they, they mistrust him and his sisters, one of them is very helpful and the other one's rebellious and, and you know, like, it's the whole Archer clan has is, is got a thing going on which is very reminiscent of just sort of like the old Fantastic Four kind of stuff. One of the things Joe Casey uh, as a writer does really well is mine the depths of these other comic book genres, I suppose, like he can do comic books, this is sort of like 60s, 70s. Uh, cosmic fantasy comics and then but he can go and do other books that are like 80s Avengers comics which are completely different in the feel and then he can do modern comics too I think he's got a manga book out so the dude is uh, either schizophrenic or a genius so so that's good or or he should get help um, this book is it's really hard to explain I don't want to give a lot away because and I don't know if I could explain it anyway but you know this is just it's just there's huge consequences if you think of like the marvel characters like the eternals or galactus you know like those big huge characters that are sort of more powerful than anything in the world and they sometimes interact with immortals that stuff's going on and and you know new york is under attack by a giant pyramid and there's just it's it's wacky but it's like and it's kind of funny and it's kind of tongue-in-cheek it's a really fun book the uh the celestial edition which is this big hardcover um which is the first 12 issues is a, a beautiful book. It's like, it's a great design. You can see on the cover here. Um, it's just, it's big and hefty. It's nice pages. It's uh, a little bit oversized. I cannot recommend this book more because it's a lot of fun. If you want more details, please go and check out my review. Uh, that was on ifanboy.com a couple months ago. There'll be a link to that uh, on the page for the show. And uh, that's all. I hope you like it. And then look for the pick of the week on Monday. That'll be the mini. And uh, then everything will be back to normal, hopefully.